Here you can see that the bees are working hard to collect the chicken feed um, to take it back to eat. Um, you know, pollen. The bees uh, take in a lot of different things that we're not really always familiar with. I've seen them, you know, on ragweed, um, out of the sap, and just you see them in trash cans. They're they're uh, opportunistic. But this was a big key for me to feed them um, pollen, and uh, I thought that was kind of cool feedback where it's just a little observation, and then I can meet that need. So they're trying to uh, start expanding for the spring. They're ready to start growing, or maybe they're just running out of pollen. So you see they're kind of covered in dust, and um, they're uh, just rolling around in it, grabbing it, trying to get it caught up on their legs so that they can take it back. And uh, they eat it, but the pollen, the protein for bees, is a big uh, important part of brood rearing. So a lot of it goes to the larva. And so I'm sure they're getting some good nutrients from the uh, chicken feed ground up. But um, I also am going to offer the Bee Pro pollen substitute. So here's open feeding of pollen substitute. And it actually is mostly gone, so there's a lot more here. So they take it up really quickly when they want it and um, when they don't they won't even touch it um, so it's just this powder you can see out there a little bit and they just roll around and get it caught up like you saw um, but what's kind of cool about this is there's a lot less um, I mean you can feel the competition but they're not fighting to the death like they do with open feeding of uh, sugar water and so a lot of good pollen going back into the colonies and um, they're just they're wanting to start raising brood for the spring so the bees are the ones that have told me that they're ready to take in pollen and so it feels like a really good interaction, intervention and um, having some expansion early is, is almost always good. Uh, I can help them through winter if it lasts forever and uh, getting the expansion quickly means I can split some of the stronger ones um, and have them rebuild for the May flow. With the open feeding of the pollen you can really see them coming back in with it. And so um, this was a colony that was feeding really strongly. So you see that one and that one and um, that one. They're all loaded up with the pollen substitute on their legs. And uh, the feedback that I got that I wanted to share was that <clears throat> this was a colony that was light, you know, had basically emptied this um, by our last uh, freeze a few weeks ago. And I just recently added four frames of honey to it to give them a little more food. And so just a lot of stimulus factors for uh, expanding and growing. And so I imagine the queen has started laying again and um, they're, they're starting to really b uh, use up that honey that I gave them. All right, you guys, I don't do a lot of bee videos because I'm still learning all of the time, but I, I do like uh, I do like, love bees and love to talk about them. So if you are a beekeeper, definitely hit me up in the comments and let's start a conversation. And I will catch y'all later. Peace.